All right. In all seriousness, uh, some actual pointers in fighting in a gas mask. Um, one, uh, this one is actually only set up for a, uh, a right-handed shooter. So again, if you were a left-handed shooter, you wouldn't be able to put the filter on this side, um, and you wouldn't be able to get a cheek, cheek to stock weld. Um, so for you left-handed shooters, make sure that you're a, uh, able to set up your uh, gas mask or protective mask um, for ambidextrous, ambidextrous sides. Uh, also, another thing is you got to remember with, uh, I don't care if you're in Alaska, um, fighting with one of these on is going to uh, make you super hot and you're going to sweat your balls off. So hydration is very important with the gas mask. Um, so you need to have some kind of, um, yeah, you can lift your mask up and drink water, but if you're planning on keeping your mask on, you need to hydrate. Um, some of these masks come with these little um, tubes that you can see right here that allow you to plug into a camelback that has an adapter on it, um, something like that. And, and each mask is a little bit different, um, but uh, that, that's consideration to have is you need the ability to incorporate your hydration system with your mask. Lastly, if you're uh, going to be working with someone else or um, in a position where you're wearing a mask and you need to communicate, you've got to keep in mind that it's very, very, very difficult to hear um, someone's voice with their mask on, especially multiplied by 100 if there is uh, shooting involved. Therefore, uh, this mask is set up with a um, uh, voice amplifier which amplifies the, uh, the voice so you can hear it. It also makes you sound a little bit like Vader, which is pretty damn cool. Lastly, um, you know, you got to keep in mind, whatever you're capable of without a gas mask on, um, you know, breathing through this, even without a filter, um, is like breathing through a straw. Uh, with a filter on, it's like breathing through a straw with your hand over it. So, uh, got to keep that in mind you got to be very careful and uh, remember your oxygen intake is going to be cut massively so uh, so be careful when wearing your uh, protective mask and doing training whether it's a stress fire or if you're running with it on whatever because it's very your oxygen is going to be severely restricted uh, lastly keep in mind too that um, and this is this is legitimate if you're going to buy a protective mask and want to actually use it for a protective function, the $12 Israeli special sold by Cheaper Than Dirt um, doesn't work. And, uh, uh, you know, you, you get what you pay for, especially with gas masks. So if you want something that really works, spend the money and, and get something decent. Uh, All right. This is the Czech M10. It's avail available on the Zert website. Um, this is good for training, for PT, um, to get you used to the restricted, um, the restricted oxygen and restricted field of view, uh, field of vision of wearing a uh, gas or protective mask. Um, this is, I believe, around sixteen, seventeen dollars on on the Zert website. Uh, again, this this mask is more for training purposes. Um, far as what it would actually filter would uh, maybe some light tear gas or um, or CS gas. Next model up we have the S10. Um, this has a removable filter um, that could be there's different types of filters for the different chemicals that you're trying to filter out. This as you can see is also set up for ambidextrous so you can use it um, you can switch it and use it for a left-handed uh, shooter. Um, this mask will actually filter CS, um, uh, a lot of chemicals. Again, you gotta research exactly what, and part of that defend, uh, depends on the type of filter used, um, but th this will filter a lot of different things. Next mask up is the, this is the M53, and uh, this, is, this is the top of the line military grade gas mask. Um, doesn't have a filter in right now. Again, that's um, there's many different versions you can use. In addition to that, you can also set up this gas mask. It's set up with a blower, uh, with a dual dual uh, filter system blower. 
the blower is awesome um, because what it does is it actually instead of me sucking air in barely like I said through a straw the blower actually blows air through a tube into the mask and just kind of shoots the oxygen in your face and it's like running almost like running without a mask on with the wind in your face it's pretty awesome um, and in my opinion it is by far the way to go uh, when operating in a protective or gas mask but um, that's an overview of the three masks um, again you get from super high speed to uh, economy and uh, again it depends on what you're looking at uh, uh, what you're looking at using your gas and protective mask for as well as your budget and uh, That's about it. Mr. Gray, Zert Instructor, out.